Hey guys, today we are going to build the back half of the wheel assembly. Here's the front part that we built yesterday. I put a quickie little video of just testing it. You need both sides obviously for it to, to do a real test. Um, but this is the front wheel assembly for Abraham's cart. And it doesn't have the upstop wheels on it yet. The upstop wheels, if you look, you'll see these things match up. Looking at this bottom axle here, this is where the upstop wheel goes. And if you imagine a third wheel, <laughs> if you imagine a third wheel on the bottom of that thing, that's what keeps it from coming up off the track. So anyway, we're going to build the next piece of the wheel assembly today. And we're going to get started with it right now. And uh, I'll try to go as fast as I possibly can so that you can get the whole, get the whole treatment. So here we go. Roller coaster carts, or at least the ones that I build, don't have equal weight distribution, right? It's not like a not like an awesome sports car where you get 50-50 weight distribution. Um, so this is the front wheels. They manage steering and they pivot and they do they do different kind of work, slightly different kind of work than the back wheels. The back wheels support most of the weight, right? If you sit on the back of your cart, your your butt's back there, your back's back there, and so most of the weight is on the back of the cart. Um, which for us allows the cart to steer better, it allows us to control things better, and, uh, and that's just kind of the way it goes because all of the cart that we're building, the cart that I'm building here is, a, is just a one person cart. So on this one you'll see we have three quarter inch square tubular steel as the, as the rails for the front. Um, we're going to use, for the back, we're going to use one and a quarter. Huh? We're going to use one and a quarter inch tubular steel to go across, all right? So it's going to be like this. So it's going to be a whole lot stronger across the back so that it'll support more weight and it'll be more rigid. Um, the other thing on the back of the cart, the other difference between the back of the cart and the front of the cart is the front of the cart, the wheels have to steer both side to side and they also have to pivot this way so that when the cart goes around a track the wheels can bend and turn right but for the back wheels all they do is turn and that's the way that that's the way that I designed the first one because it's enough of an independent suspension to where all four sets of wheels can stay on the track at the same time and it's a simple enough design to where we can build it really, really strong, right? And so there's this, there's this, uh, there's this compromise that you always have to make when you're building anything, right? Like in, in bicycles, the joke at the joke at Jeff's bicycle shop is uh, um, light, strong, cheap. Pick two, right? So if you want a beautiful bicycle that's really really strong and you don't have a lot of money well then you're gonna to have to build it out of steel and steel is not light um, if you want a beautiful bicycle that's really really strong and you don't care what it costs then you're gonna probably build it with carbon because carbon is very light very strong not at all cheap so um, you know the other the other uh, the other saying is good fast cheap pick two right so we want this one to be good and we want it to be relatively inexpensive, which means we take our time, right? And so we want it strong and we want it inexpensive. We want it achievable so it's not going to be light. We're making it out of steel, which means it's going to be heavy. But so more steel in the back, heavier, stronger, not as light, but still it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot stronger than wood. OK, 
Okay, so there is our back wheel assembly. All right. Whee! So that's kind of how that <clears throat> that's kind of how that goes. I'm not exactly sure how much time it took, but it didn't take too much time. The important things, <clears throat> especially when you're welding, the important things are to start out with a plan to start out with a drawing. <clears throat> when I build things out of wood, it's pretty easy to unscrew something if you screw it together wrong or unglue it or uh, take it apart. Welding is a much more permanent thing. So you want to A, tack weld things before you really weld them and you want to start with a drawing. You really do want to have a, a, a plan of what it is that you're going to design. But that's the front and back wheel assembly for the cart. The next thing that we're going to do is attach them with a suspension and roll them down the track and see what happens. And we'll try to get that done before the Southern California Park Tour. But uh, if we don't do that, we'll have it as soon as we get back. Thank you for watching Coaster Dad. Please like, please subscribe, please share, please tweet. All of those things are really helpful to the cause and you can help us bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. Thanks for watching Coaster Dad. We'll see you soon.